I'm Dr Chris Gillies, Research Scientist for Earthwatch Australia. In the next few minutes, we're going to demonstrate how you can help marine biologists from around Australia begin to understand how climate change is affecting our marine wildlife on our rocky shores and beautiful sandy beaches. The surveys won't take long at all, 30 minutes. Most importantly, you're going to have a lot of fun exploring our beautiful coastal environment. Let's get to it. Before you start, you'll need to do a little bit of research and discover some important information about your local site. Firstly, be aware of any dangerous marine creatures you may come across while conducting your surveys and make sure if you do find one, you don't handle it. Animals like blue bottles or cone shells can still sting you after they have washed up on the shore for several days. Low tide and calm seas provide the best conditions to go sampling, so make sure you check the weather before you head outside. Become familiar with the climate watch species that may occur in your area by downloading the individual species guides and intertidal guides from the climate watch website. Also make sure you download the intertidal sampling guide which provides you with written instructions on how to complete your surveys. And finally, before you leave the house, remember to bring sunscreen, wear enclosed shoes, wear a hat and sunglasses, and take plenty of water with you. Bring a watch, a GPS and a camera, or more easily, download the Climate Watch app at the Google Play or iTunes store. When you arrive on the rocky shore, spend a few moments observing the weather. Make sure there are no dangerous swell or wave conditions and that it's safe to survey. Begin to plan your walk and make sure you start to identify some of the different types of rocky habitats. These can be things like boulder fields, flat rock, cracks and crevices or rock pools. Sites will often have several habitats, but most species usually prefer to occupy one habitat. Record the habitats they are most often associated with. When you're ready, start your stopwatch and walk slowly for 20 minutes, covering both the upper and lower sections of the platform. Make sure you check in all the cracks and crevices underneath algae and in the rock pools. Be careful to not disturb any animals and leave boulders as you found them. Identify each climate watch species you come across and note how many you see on the data sheet. Roughly estimate how many individuals you find over 20 minutes using the categories provided on the data sheet or recording page. That is, abundant. That means there are lots of individuals at the site and you come across them regularly. Frequent, it might take several minutes to find the first individual, but within the 20 minutes of searching, you can find several individuals. Rare, over the whole 20 minutes of searching, you may only find one or two individuals or not found. You don't find any during your 20 minute search. Remember, it's just as important to record that you didn't find anything as it is to record that something was present. After you've finished your search and you've recorded both the frequency and behaviours of your target species, you can then upload your sightings straight away using the phone app or if you don't have a smartphone, when you get back home on the Climate Watch website. And that's it. Thank you for contributing to Climate Watch. Your sightings will provide scientists with the information they need to understand how climate change is impacting on our coastal shores. And remember, the more sightings you submit, the more informed our research will be. So grab a friend, bring a smartphone, and start climate watching. For more information, visit our website. <music>